Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and freaks of nature of all ages. My name is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson, and welcome back to Unturned. Okay, in the last episode, I was talking about how things were getting just a little bit too easy. The first few videos were really good for introduction, but there really wasn't a whole hell of a lot of challenge because I play on wuss mode. Uh, well, it's time to get off of wuss mode, so we're going to do that right now. We're going to go into the advanced and we are going to go down to the spawn chance and we're going to increase the chance of sprinters I am not bringing in any flankers though those little invisible bastards can suck my nads uh, and we're going to increase, increase the chance of spitters uh, the acid zombies so we're going to increase the chance of those things um, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to have to make first aid a little bit more um, important. So we're going to go ahead and make it where we can break our legs and we can actually bleed out. So now we're going to have more zombies and we're going to be able to break our legs and bleed out. So that's going to up the ante just a little bit. Alright, so we're going to go back out of that and I will be right back as soon as I get our level loaded back in. All right, here we go, and I got scared there for a minute. I really did. It was yeah, uh, because I, I told you before, if you remember episode one and some of the other episodes we did, how my computer is, for lack of a better term, a piece of shit. Well, it decided that it was going to display its full range of shittiness. Well, maybe not the full range, but a good range of shittiness, and it... Uh, it, it crashed out the program so unturned crashed while I was trying to load the level in and I had to close everything out and reboot and luckily when I loaded back in it retained the new settings so we can still break our legs we can still bleed out but more importantly than that we still have our inventory okay that's what worried me I was afraid we were gonna have to start all over again but we're not going to we're going to be able to continue on um, but now we have a larger range of zombies that we we have to contend with. What we got up there? I don't think we want to go grab them yet. Let's go take a look. We got two flamers right there. Okay, um, I think what we want to do is skirt this beach so that they don't see us, go up over that hill and see if we can uh, clear out that farm. We're not going to research the farm, we're just going to clear out the farm uh, because we're probably going to have to fight through a few zombies over at the farm to get our ATV back. But since we, now before we do that, let me make sure that my gas can's still full. Right click full 100% okay excellent that's exactly what I wanted to know alright so we're gonna go over this hill here we're gonna go back to the farm and we're gonna go get our gas can or uh, go get our ATV and then we will decide where we are going to go from there I think what we're gonna do is uh, is skirt to the other side of Charlottetown there is there is over there, up on that hilltop. I don't know if I can see it from here. Let's let's find out. Because over on those hilltops, yeah, you can see it from here. Let's go grab the binoculars real quick again. And I'll show you where we're going to go next. There is usually, when you see towers like that, if you haven't played before, um, there is usually a couple of good spawns up that tower. There's a ladder on the tower and you can climb it and every one of those little cross plates has the possibility of a spawn. So that's always a good thing. And then over here on this island, I don't think we're going to go over there because there's absolutely nothing to find. But in the Prince Edward Island map over here on this little island south of Charlottetown, there's a little castle looking keep. And you can go in it and you can get all the way to the top of the tower. It's not a huge one, but the thing about that little keep island is that zombies don't spawn there. And zombies can't swim. So that is the one place on the entire map 
that is completely and totally safe. You can build your fort there, you can fortify that keep, you can cut down the trees, you can build stuff, there's good soil so you can grow crops and um, there's also berry bushes, as you can see right there, there's a couple of berry bushes where you can harvest berries and I think you might be able to make meds out of them, I'm not sure, but that is the safest place on the map. So if you decide to play full, full on survival, um, want to build forts and stuff like that that's a good place to do it on the PEI map that because zombies don't spawn there all right and it's starting to get daybreak which is a good thing and it looks like our ATV is on the upper side by the road so we may not have to fight our way through any zombies to get to our vehicle Excellent. And that's going to give us 50% fuel on our quad and an empty gas can. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and head back over to Charlottetown um, and go get some more gas just so we can get it 100% uh, full yeah and we'll go get the quad 100% full and we'll get some reserve in our gas tank so let's just go ahead and skirt around the edge of the farm trying not to roll this thing because you can roll the vehicles I've done it it's kind of funny when it happens but probably not something we want to do if we can avoid it and come straight down this little area and we can run the beach over to the gas station and avoid the greatest majority of the zombos Looks like the flamers went away. The spawn changes. Every time you get a certain distance away from something, the spawn changes. Got him. But we don't have a purple flare yet. What's that? I don't even know what the chemicals do. I'm going to have to look up the wiki and see what the chemicals do. Okay, as long as we're quiet, we should be able to pull this off. So we'll go up to the fuel, we'll right click to fill up the gas can. And we'll head back over to the ATV. And we'll left click to fill up the ATV. And that's going to give us, what, 89% uh, on the quad. We want 100%. We don't want an odd percentage on our quad. There we go, 100% on the quad, let's go get now the fuel reserves down to 55 but we have a full gas can, we've got full fuel on the quad, the one problem we have on the quad still is that it's at a 70% repair rating, the little health bar on it. So to fix that, we're going to go to G in our inventory, and we're going to grab our blowtorch. Now to use the blowtorch, the blowtorch is kind of like the flashlight. It will register as a weapon, so you have to put it into a weapon slot. So we'll put the chainsaw there, and we'll arm up the blowtorch, and then we'll go up to the quad, and we'll left click. And there we go. And now our quad has 100% fuel and 100% repair. So it is good to go. 
and we'll put our chainsaw back in here. Put the chainsaw back. There we go. That's better. Alright, so now what we're going to do is look at our map real quick. And so we're right there. Now we have two farms over here that we could hit, but I don't want to yet. And then we've got Pirate Cove, and there's some really cool stuff on the back side of Pirate Cove. We'll go check that out too. And then over here we have Holman Isle, and there's some pretty cool stuff on Holman Isle. So I think the way we're going to do this is we're going to go check out the tower and Pirate Cove, and then we're going to go clear Holman Isle. And once we get done with Holman Isle, we'll come over here, we'll hit Wilshire Farm, Fernwood Farm, and then we'll run the beach up to Taylor Beach outside of Montague so that we've done kind of a, a circle thing here. And then once we hit Taylor Beach, we can go across the bay to the O'Leary Prison. And then from the O'Leary Prison, we will go straight up and check out the military base and see what kind of weapons and stuff we can get out of that military base. And then we'll go do Stratford and the lighthouse on Cape Rock and then do Alberton and then do the Confederation Bridge last and we will be done with this. So let's get to it. going to run the beach down and around. We'll run the beach over to, actually let's just go ahead and drive this thing up to the tower. And then once we make it up to the tower, we can walk down to Pirate Cove. All right. drive down to Pirate Cove. Doesn't really matter. We'll do the tower first. And what do we got? We got a weapon laying on the ground. What is... <gasps> Matamores. I have never even attempted to use that weapon. And so... Okay, bye-bye pistols. It looks like I have a, 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 a sniper rifle now. And if that is the case, then you guys can just go away. Still got missing space. Okay, I got to rearrange something because it's going to take six spaces for that to fit. So we will drop this chart. We don't need it. And that's going to do it right there. All right, so let's put our chainsaw right there put our pistol right there and then put our rifle right there very nice very nice and it looks like it's got an auto setting safety and semi all right we're gonna we'll give that a wing now I, I believe this takes ranger ammunition so what is that? That's a Matamoras magazine. Cool. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but I really don't care. Nothing there. And nothing on the top. And that's okay. That's okay because we score. We found a really good one. Found a really good pickup there. So. And that, honestly, is one weapon I don't know anything about. I have never found that weapon before. That is the first time I have ever found that weapon. I think I'm going to try driving around in first-person mode for a while. Ah, ah, there we go. That's better. Got to center up the... Yeah, I'm going to try first-person mode for a while. I just got in the habit of doing third-person mode when I drive because when I started playing the game, it, it was messing me up. I, I had this tendency to try to steer with the mouse, and that is not the way you steer the vehicles. And so now I've gotten in the habit of just taking my hand completely off the mouse when I'm on a vehicle. And I'm getting a little better at it, but I think I'm going to keep it in first-person. See if I can get used to driving it like this instead of in that third person kind of deal. OK, 
Okay, now let's go around the back here and check out Pirate Cove. I want to show you what's back here. There may or may not be good stuff back here. This is actually another safe spot. Um, kind of like that island over there was was a safe spot because zombies don't spawn there. Zombies don't spawn back here either, and zombies can't swim. And this is Pirate Cove. And you have a nice little cave back here. And I've never found anything spawn in the cave, but it is a nice little cave. And it's got a little bit of dry land. You could set yourself up a campfire and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, it looks it's pretty cool. It's, it's a nice little safe spot. And then out beyond the cave is a shipwreck. You got to keep a good eye on your air though because this thing's down pretty deep and I've never found anything spawn close to it so we'll let my air come back up. There we go. I've never seen a spawn around it but I know there are places on uh, the map where things do spawn underwater and you can actually go underwater and search stuff. But yeah, that was Pirate Cove. I just wanted to show you guys Pirate Cove and let you see what was there. So now we're going to go over to that island over there and see what we can dig up. See what kind of trouble we can get into with our new rifle. So we'll head back over to the ATV. We'll take it down the beach, just a small stretch. Uh, probably park it by one of the farms. And then we will swim across to the, to the island and see what kind of trouble we can get into. And I should probably, let's see, I'm at 49 food and 45 water. So let's go ahead and eat and drink. Let's go ahead and let's eat that bacon just because I've got bacon. Oh, the bacon didn't give me back any hydration. I thought it would, but that's okay. It's bacon. I'm not going to complain. The tuna will give me back some hydration. Yep. Yeah. So we're 100 on food. And may as well go ahead and drink a soda beverage. And get back some liquid. That's better. Okay. And then we can move that tomato there. And move that carrot, or that potato there. And everything else looks good. And we've got a little bit of space for more food. Ah. Alright. Here we go. I think the biggest thing to remember when learning how to drive in this game is that the you steer with WASD. W is your gas, A and D steers, and S is not brake. S is reverse. The space bar is the brake. The left uh, the left mouse button is your horn, and the right mouse button is your headlights. So we're gonna go park it up here on the beach close to the farm. close enough to the farm that we don't have a long ways to... Okay, that's not a zombie. That's a tree and a rock blending together. So close enough to the farm that we don't have a long ways to walk and far enough away from the farm that the zombies ain't going to see us. Alright, now let's go ahead and head across the water and scope out this island. And finding a scope for that new rifle would be really cool, but I don't know if it would work because my computer just doesn't like scopes. It doesn't. Uh, I found a scope before and it makes it lag really, really bad. But if we find one for it, we will at least try to test it out to see what it does because, you know, sniper rifle needs a scope because, you know, sniper rifle. Okay, and that should be, uh-oh, fairies. Should we? Yeah, we should. Let's go ahead and do it. Because we know what the green ones do, now let's figure out what the orange ones do.
<laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love it. Oh, and it's reversed the mouse controls. Down is up and up is down. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. That's awesome. He's... I... Some of the stuff that's in this game is just absolutely fantastic. I love it. I really do love it. Okay, it looks like we got three on the deck. A walker on the ground, or a crawler on the ground, one by the water. Let's see if I can do it from a distance. Oh, yeah! And it's like automatically silenced. That is freaking amazing. I hit him, but I didn't drop him. That dropped him. Kind of hard to get a headshot on an iron sight from a distance. But I did it that time. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, look at this. Look at me shoot. Oh! Oh! Did that put him down? It absolutely did. Four for five, one shot from a distance, open sights. Yes! Yes! That was just cool! That was so freaking cool. Okay, a pickaxe, don't need that. And generally, there's nothing good in these things. What we got? Cloth. See? Not a whole lot of good in these things. Scrap metal. Okay, let's go clear out the bridge. The galley and the berthing. seem to be anything in the galley right now. Nobody in birthing. And nobody on the bridge. Okay, cool. What do we got over here? Rope, flashlight, nothing major. Alright, let's check out birthing real quick. See if there's anything good in here. Is that what is that over there? Come on. What is that? Oh, that's cargo shorts. I don't want those. I was hoping it was an ammo box. But no, this is shorts. Alright. in the galley. I'll take that tomato. Always take the tomatoes. We got cheese, lettuce, more lettuce, not the greatest food in the world, but ooh, more cheese. But I kind of that's that's you know I've, I've said before that I like the attention to detail that Nelson put into this, and I really do because I like the fact that it's better for you to not go picking up a lot of candy bars and potato chips because they only give you back food. You to 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 get back food and hydration, you actually have to eat healthy and pick up carrots and potatoes and cheese and lettuce and and canned things like canned soup and pasta and tuna and, you know because all those things will give you back food and hydration so it, it he actually made the game 
so that junk food is not as good for you as real food. And if you really want to survive, then you need to have better food. You need to actually eat healthy. Oh, we have a way to get back across the shore now. And it's got 28% in it already. Good, that's going to be plenty enough to get us around the edge of the island and back to the ATV. Okay, and what's up this hill? And we're running with about four to five minutes of recording time left. So I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to go over here just a little space. And we're going to go pay our respects. I don't know who this is, but we should pay our respects. So let's hit. And let's hit C. Oh, maybe I have to have nothing in my hands to do that. Okay, let's hit C. And we will salute. We will salute these poor souls who died and pay our respects. Just like that. There we go. Alright. And then we will get to a spot where we can pull out our binoculars and see what we're looking at as far as this little facility up here goes. And I do not believe we're going to have the time to clear this place out in this episode, so we'll just stick up here on this hill for a second. And then we'll scope the place out, and then in the next episode, we will go invade. And there's one over there. There's a gas reserve. That, I think, is a sprinter. Those things will just come running right at you. One over there. There's usually a couple around the back. A water tower. You can fill up your canteen out of the water tower, but once again, it's going to be dirty, and so you're going to need to find purification towers. You really don't want to drink dirty water if you can help it. Okay, so now that we know what we got going on there, let's go ahead and find a better firing position. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit too much from out here, so I'm going to have to come in closer. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and put a pause on it right there, um, and then when we come back, we will go ahead and invade this installation and see what we can find in there, and then we'll head and do those farms, hopefully. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe and share. Tell your friends and family to hit the like button, subscribe and share. Please do not forget to check out the links to the Disabled American Veterans and the Wounded Warriors Foundation. Let's please help us support our veterans. These brave men and women have given everything for us. We should really give something back. Uh, drop me a comment, good, bad, somewhere in between. All comments are always welcome. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Thank you very much for the love and support you've given. And I, I couldn't do it without you. And I greatly, greatly, greatly from the bottom of my heart appreciate it. I love every one of you guys. Thank you so very much. And until next time, this is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson saying peace, love, clean underwear, and happy gaming.